Let's go. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Akim. First and foremost, I'd give all praises on all honor and all glory into the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well as taught as this truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Brother Kazapa. Shemarwa. And you know, we'll come back with another quick lesson to the spirit of, of the Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And this lesson is basically me um, going into um, what's going on right now. Okay. Uh, we're living in a time of sedition, uh, a time of the uprising of violence. You know, a lot of uh, storms uh, is going on. I believe it's a uh, storm Delta. I believe the tropical storm Delta just ended in the Gulf. You know, storm Gamma is coming, you know, um, right behind it. You know, so a lot of things, the Lord is uh, kind of have a lot of things going on in the earth right now, along with the campaign and, uh, uh, you know, the president, the president presidential campaigns and stuff like that and upwards of the people so all the scriptures the scriptures speak about all these things going on and the time that we're living in right now so we'll start off with that scripture uh, second edges 15 second edges chapter 15 verse 1 mm -hmm. behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy it says speak thou in the, in the ears of my people so-called negroes latinos and native americans and you israelite foreigners okay who look like the other heathen nations but bloodline go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're speaking unto you, okay, of the words of prophecy. And right, and prophecy means what? The words of the future. All right, pro meaning before, and facade means to say. So we're speaking these things before they actually happen. Okay, you want to read them, bro? <clears throat> Which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the Lord's words. Okay, He's putting His words in our mouth. Okay, all right. So these are not our own words. The Lord is speaking through us. Okay, you want to read? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Cause them to be what? Be written in paper, which is the Bible, King James Version with the Apocrypha. Okay? All right? He caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, meaning they will happen. Okay? Everything in this book already has happened, or is happening right now as we speak, and will happen. Okay? All right? And the time that we're living, we're, time, we're living in a time where uh, a lot of sedition, a lot of uproars, a lot of uh, just destruction and chaos is um you know about to happen man all right and the scriptures talk about you can jump to verse 14 but in yes. fact it's lucky 315 and then go to, uh 13 it's lucky i'm thinking i'm thinking too fast yeah read 13 uh second edges 15 and 13 they they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell <clears throat> with I mean and with a fearful constellation. Slocky bro, my bad. It I think is uh I just read it earlier. Verse ten, then hop to verse fourteen. Slocky, that's my right. fault. Um second edges fifteen and ten. Behold, my people are led as a flock to the slaughter. That's right. And who's leading them? The leaders of our people, man. All right. Like you said, when the brother was just talking about how what? The you know, you got the NFAC, you know, uh militia which, you know, is ran by Grandmaster, uh, Jam Master J and stuff, was just out there in uh, Lafayette, okay? And, uh, you know, one of the people shot themselves, man, okay? You know? But, you know, just them being in that spirit of trying to be like Esau, you know, our people, uh, you know, the leaders of our people have led our people to err, okay? You know, to go off, okay? You know? So that's how they're being led to to the slaughter man when you look up the word slaughter it means to what to kill a cattle or sheep or or, or a person but what are we we're the lost sheep of the house of israel man so-called negroes latinos and native americans man all right so that's what's happening to our people man all right keep on reading <clears throat> i will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of egypt in the land of egypt is america man so the lord is not gonna suffer us have us here for a long period of time man this place on his, is on its way out all right, and the Lord will deliver His elect out of, out of this place, America, man. Okay, the elect of the nation of Israel, one hundred and forty-four thousand and the one-third men, women, and children who believe. Okay, all right. Now you count to verse fourteen, bro. Verse fourteen: Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. It says, "Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein." Why? Because a lot of death and destruction is coming. Okay, woe means death and destruction. Okay, 
a lot of horrible times that we're, we're about to roll into is right around the corner, man, okay? Uh, hey, I'll take that back. Not even around the corner. It's at the doorstep right now, okay? You know, about to walk in. All right, can read it? It says, <clears throat> For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. For their sword in the destruction draweth nigh, meaning what? A sword, an instrument of war. So war time is coming. Civil war, race wars, uh, class wars, okay? And it said, uh, uh, it said, uh, what else? A sword and what? Bro? It says, the sword and their destruction draw off now. Their destruction, okay? Which means to break down. The breaking down the household, the breaking down of families, the breaking down of friendships, okay? The breaking down of infrastructures, okay? You know, everything's going to be broken down in this place, of America, man, okay? You know? You read it? And one people shall stand up to fight against another. All right, those race rights, this class wars, the civil war. We're about to enter another civil war with this election, okay? You know, you already see it brewing up how people are on on one side of the line, man, okay? You're either on this side or you're on that side, man, okay? The, you know, the law, the, what they call the, 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 the line is being drawn in the sand, man, so to speak, okay? You know, and really in spirit, it's really is if you're with the Lord or if you're with the world, man. Okay, all right. Can we read it? And swords in their hands. And swords in their hands, instruments of death. Okay, you know, so they're what fighting against each other with instruments of death in their grasp, man. Okay, so what? There's gonna be a very bloody, uh, 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 upsetting time, man. Okay, that we're about to roll into, man. That's why brothers always say to you know to those that believe, repent. Turn back to Yahweh by Shema al Shai because the time that we're living in is about to be a very cruel, gruesome, inhumane, uh, no friendliness type of vibe, man, out here in these streets. A dog eat dog world, man. Okay? It says, um, for, there's, <clears throat> for there should be sedition among men mm -hmm. and invading one another. And invading one another, what? Home invasions. It's going to be at an all time high. You know, what? The police invading your crib, okay? You know, taking all your stuff, taking you, putting you in a concentration camp, okay? This is the times that we're living in right now, man. All right, Yahweh, by Hashim Yahushai, who the word that calls God and Jesus Christ, is going to have these devils do these things, man. All right, and just have the spirit on normal citizens, okay, to act barbarically, okay? He right. says, um, they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Which is going on right now. It says sedition among men. They shall not re regard their kings or princes, man. Or that means uprising against the government. Or they're not going to regard their kings or princes, which is your governors, your mayors, your, your high-ranking police officers, okay? All right, figures of authority, okay? They're not going to regard, not, they're not going to care about what they have to say, okay? They're going to do what they please, okay, in that day, all right? In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. In the course of their actions, whatever a man desires to do, all right, he's going to be able to do to stand in their power. All right, so if he wants to run up in your crib, blast everyone's head off, take the food, all right, he can do that, all right, and he's going to be able to if he has that power, man, okay? You know, if he's strong enough, he would be able to take all your food and then take your, take your children and your wife, man, okay? You know, this is what we're about to uh, witness here in America, man. okay? A man shall desire to go into a city and <clears throat> not, and shall not be able. Yep, a man's going to be able to what? The desire to go into a city and not shall not be able. City lockdowns, state lockdowns. California just opened up their borders again, all right, for uh, for travel, okay? Because at first they did it because of the wildfires, man, okay? All right? People are going to be desiring to see family members in different cities, but shall not be able because of what? It's going to be city lockdowns. Uh, uh, what's called checkpoints, okay? You know? You got to have papers to get into the city or something like that, you know? It says, um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Now, because of the city's pride, we're really talking about the people of the city. Because of their pride, all right? Because this place is a prideful place, man, okay? You know, there's a what's the term for the Marines? The few, the proud, the Marines. Yeah. You know, this place promotes pride. You know, stuff to be a prideful person when Take the Lord. Pride in your work. Yep. You know, well you you're supposed to, you're supposed to do that, but you know, <laughs> but still you know I you know hey, it is still part of it you know, but you know uh, people overly pride themselves you know make themselves more than what they think they are okay, you know so that's what this place uh 
you know, uh, promotes, man. Okay. You know, nothing but pride, prideful spirit. So the Lord is going to uh, have the cities troubled because of that, man. All right. It says the houses shall, the houses shall be destroyed mm -hmm. and men shall be afraid. And men shall be afraid. All right. Usually a man in a messed up situation, he might be afraid. All right. But he keeps a calm demeanor. No, the scripture said that their faces shall be as flames. All right. It's going to show in his face that he's scared and doesn't know what to do in that day. Okay. But only ones that's going to be calm all right, and collective is those that trust and believe on Yahweh by Shinar Shai, the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Which scripture say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Who? To who? The elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. You know. The man should have no pity. It's <clears throat> like a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, uh -huh. but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Yeah, like we said earlier, man. Like what? Somebody come into your crib, go clap everybody. <laughs> they have no mercy upon anybody. Look at the uh, TV show, The Walking Dead. Okay, how Negan acted towards those that rebelled against him. Okay, gruesome. You know, people's heads were beaten in. You know, women were taken up. People were tortured. You know. Same thing is coming to this place, America, man. Okay. And spoil their goods because the lack of bread. And take all their what? Their goods, you know, the things that they have for a lack of bread. What? Starvation out here, man. Okay. Because what? A famine's coming to this place, America, man. Okay. You know? All right. And the scriptures speak about this, man. All right. These are the beginning of uh, sorrows, man, as the scriptures say when the, the brother's about to get it. And for great tribulation. And for great tribulation. Hard times. Okay. You know, it's the second address, chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, mm -hmm. the beginning of famine and great death. So, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, man. Okay, meaning what sorrows is pain, body, pain of body, mind, and soul. Okay, all right, great pains, man. Okay, the beginning of them we're, we're in it right now. All right, it says of famine, lack of bread, and resource of water. Okay. You know, and it says famine and what, bro? It says and great death. And great death, man. Bodies dropping, you know, whether it be of a disease, whether it be of starvation, whether, you know, it be that um, you got some type of illness inside of you and you don't can't get no medicine. People are just going to be dropping dead, man. Okay. You know. The beginning of wars mm -hmm. and the power shall stand in fear. Mm hmm. And the power should stand in Beginning of wars, like I said, race wars, class wars, you know, uh, a civil war, you know, war over in the Middle East, okay? All these things are going to be happening on the planet Earth, man, okay? And, and we're in that time right now, okay? You know, the Lord said all these things, even the powers, the elites, the DuPonts, the Gettys, the Rockefellers, the, Opp the Oppenheimers, okay, the Rothschilds, they're going to be scared. They're going to be in hiding, okay? You know? Let's see. Uh, yeah, you keep going, yeah. Alright. It says the beginning of evils, mm -hmm. what shall I do when these evils shall come? And, and Ezra's like, What shall I do when these evils shall come? And the scripture says that what? The the righteous are gonna run to the Lord, man. Okay? You know, they're gonna run into uh the, the that strong tower and hide themselves in it. And that's what the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So that's the answer for, you know, Ezra's man. That's what Ezra's gonna do. And like men like minded men, okay? All right, the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord's will, we be a part of that number, okay? You know, because that's what we're going to need in that day to trust in the Lord, man. The Lord is going to take care of his, his servants, man. All right, he, he made that promise, okay? You know? Verse 19, behold, famine mm -hmm. and plague, that's right. tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All those things the brothers just read, famine, plague, death, destruction, you know, are sent as scourges, which means beatings, for amendment, for you to change your life. That's why I say repent, turn back to Yahweh by Shema right? Because in doing so, all right, you're going to save your life, okay? But within all this, all those things, the wicked of our people, they're not going to turn back from their wickedness. And the scripture is about to say that. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. Uh-huh. Nor be always mindful of the scourges. So they're, they're not going to turn from their wickedness. Neither be mindful, ponder, think about why am I going through this? Okay, you know, I need to turn back to the Lord. That's not even going to pop up in their mind. Okay, all right. 
but the elect of the nation of Israel, they they know that they need to turn back to the Lord, man. Okay, they're repenting right now so they can receive that grace from the Lord, that mercy, man. Okay, because mercy is the only thing that's gonna <laughs> save you out here if you got the mercy of the Lord, man. Okay, you know, because salvation is only gonna be for the elect of the nation of Israel, which is gonna be mercy is gonna be shown unto them, man. Okay. Verse twenty one, behold, victuals shall be so. I mean, shall be. It's like it. Verse twenty one, behold, victuals shall be so cheap upon the earth uh -huh. that <clears throat> that they shall think themselves to be in good case. You know, things was looking cheap during Corona. You know, and you know the quarantine. People were like, damn man. You know, this might not be so bad. You know, people think that everything's gonna be in a good case, man. All right. And it's like it. And even then, sh and even then, shall evils grow. Yeah, and even then, evils shall grow upon the earth. Evil shall grow. Bad times shall grow in the earth, man. When things is just looking good, things is really not. You know, that's what really the Lord saying, man. When things is looking good, looking normal, looking like it's about to get back to normal, really evils is increasing in the earth, man. You know, it says. Sword, famine, and great confusion. Sword, which is, comes death and destruction. Famine causes death. And, so, and great confusion. This place, Babylon, more, more confusion is being pumped out of this place, man. A man doesn't know if he wants to be a man or a woman, okay? A woman doesn't know if she wants to be a, truly a woman anymore, okay? You know? People are confused, okay? At all time high, man. Babylon the great, man. All right? All right? For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Mm, many of them that what dwell on this earth shall perish of famine. What else, bro? And the other that escape the hunger. That escape the hunger. All right. They find something to eat. All right. Shall what, bro? Shall the sword destroy. Shall the sword destroy. He go get clapped by somebody, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've been eating the whole time. Everybody's been starving. Or well, next thing you know, you turn around the corner and some dude blow the back of your head out, man. That's the, that's the time that we're coming into. This is why it was imperative for our people to repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Because salvation comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And we'll end off on the scripture of, uh, uh, if you get uh, Ezekiel, you know, 14 and 6. Mm -hmm. You know, tell Israel to repent. Because if you don't want to um, get caught up in indefinite destruction, okay, you know, then you need to repent. Turn back to Yahweh by Shema Shai before it's too late. Maybe we check the time real fast, brother. Just real quick. So, 254. All right, cool. This says Ezekiel chapter 2, I mean, chapter 14, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel, thus say of Yahweh power, repent and turn yourselves from your idols. It says, repent and turn yourself from your idols. All right? Turn back from all the wickedness, serving, uh, Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, into Christmas, okay, into Easter, Thanksgiving, stop all that shit, man, okay, if you want to live, you got to stop all that, okay, you know, serve Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, get into these scriptures, learn from the men of the Lord that's teaching, start off with our pots and elders of great millstones to the men on down like us, okay, get your mind right with the Lord, man, okay, you know. And turn away your faces from your abominations. And turn away your face from all your abominations, man. Being a homosexual, being a lesbian, okay? You know, uh, uh, getting tattoos, all the things that the scriptures say not to do, okay? We could go on all day, you know? You know, but you, we'll, we'll start off, you know, because Jake likes to know. Start start off with being simple. Start off with the, the, the Ten Commandments, man. Start off with that. That's a starting point, okay? Start with that, and then, you know, implement more man okay you know do what you can do in the spirit man okay but please try to please the lord to the best of your ability and call upon those names yahweh bahashim yahweh shai who the word who calls god and jesus christ yahweh being the true name of the heavenly father and yahweh shai being the true name of the word and he calls jesus christ okay verse seven for every one of the house of israel or the stranger that sojourneth in israel that's right which separated himself from me. You don't want to come back to the Lord. Okay. Can we read it? And set up his idols in his heart. Mm -hmm. And that mind 
You don't want to get rid of all the, the old philosophies that you learned here in America. And put up the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face. Mm -hmm. And come if to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me. That's right. I, I, yeah, how about Shim I was shy? Will answer him by myself, mm -hmm. and so you want you wanna don't want to get yourself right, but you want to know what you need to do from men. Lord, the Lord said that what you don't want to put away the wickedness, okay? But you want to uh, inquire of one of my prophets or what he what you know advice basically in the spirit. Guess what? The Lord is gonna visit you himself, man, which is not a pretty situation, okay? Matter of fact, about to go into it. Read, read the last part, bro. And I will set my face against that man. Mm -hmm. And I will make him a sign and a proverb. Uh -huh. And I will cut him off from the midst of my people. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. See, the Lord said he's going to make you an example. Okay? You know? And cut you off meaning he's going to kill you. All right? You know? And you're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is the one that did it, man. Because you didn't want to turn back and repent, man. Okay? The Lord's going to have you get caught up in everything the brothers were just speaking about, man. Okay, you know, so hey, repent so you don't get caught up in that. Turn back to the Lord, man. You know, it's a very dire situation right now, man. Okay, so with that, hopefully, this lesson was edifying to the elected nation of Israel. Let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Them honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who grew well and taught us this truth according to the Bible. And shallow on to all the brothers out there that the four corners of the earth pushing this word. Righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the let me say shalom. Shalom.